Oh, look at that. That's the perfect shot right there. Coming across the bow. That beautiful albatross. Looks like quite a large albatross, that one. I would estimate his wingspan to be about 3.6, maybe 3.7 metres in width. good look at Tutu here. When he brings his head out of the water to spout, you'll be able to get a really good look at that blowhole. A sperm whale's blowhole is S-shaped and it's so big that we could actually fit our head inside that blowhole. Now these whales get their name because of what is inside their head. Now we can thank the early whalers for naming most of our present day whales and most of the time they gave them fairly obvious names. The blue whale is blue and the grey whale, believe it or not, that one's grey. Now the sperm whale was not quite such an obvious name. When the whalers finally discovered these whales, they were really intrigued by their big square box shaped head. So they caught one took back to shore and chopped their head open. Now when they did this, 2.5 tons of a creamy white substance came flowing out of the whale's head. For some of you it may be quite obvious, they thought that this was sperm. They thought the reproductive system of a whale was in his forehead, hence the name. Now after a few years they headed up north and they came across a female sperm whale. Looking upon this female sperm whale, they noticed that she had exactly the same shaped head and once it was chopped into, two and a half tons of exactly the same substance came pouring out. So they realised that they had made a really big mistake, but the name had been around for a couple of years by then, so it stuck. Now what this actually is inside the sperm whale's forehead is two and a half tons of the finest biological oil known to man. It is now called spermaceti oil, which translates to me the seed of the whale. And it was highly sought after and really valuable throughout the whaling era. The price was so high that the whalemen used to venture out to sea in huge sailing ships for up to two or three years at a time, filling their ships up with barrels of this oil. When they caught a sperm whale, they would crawl inside the head and scrape out every last little drop because it was worth that much to them. When they came back to shore, they would make a fortune selling this, whale, uh, this oil sorry, to be used worldwide as a lubricant and fine machinery like sewing machines and clocks and watches. It was used in the gearboxes and motor cars and it was even used to lubricate the fine little parts in space shuttles. And the other use we had for it, and it was probably more used for this, and that was to light up the streets of Britain and America. When it's burnt, spermaceti oil creates a smokeless, odourless flame, which is perfect for use in street lamps, and if people were rich enough, they had spermaceti lamps in their homes. Just keep watching Toto folks, he is about to die. He's going to stretch right out, this is going to be an awesome tail shot. He's going to come up for his last breath, there he goes. Ducking his head, arching his back, zoom in, you don't even really need to zoom. Here comes the tail, right now. Huge tail there, that is definitely Tutu. 